Let me give you a couple of tips on this um, pulled pork plate, which is a song that I wrote for Acoustic Guitar Secrets. And that's a very down home kind of a droning bass, that sort of Mississippi Delta style blues. And it's got this droning E, okay? And then all of a sudden you get this. You may have noticed I was doing a couple of things differently on the on the um, melody. So what would be really the the rhythm? And that's really the beautiful thing about acoustic blues is you kind of it's almost like you have two complete guitars happening at the same time. You have a, essentially what's a rhythm section. That's all the bass is doing, it's just this droning E. And then what I'm singing would be the melody. So that kind of singing melody, and you really want to actually sing it. Not maybe when you're playing your guitar, but you actually want to try to make the melody sound like the human voice. Because that's the beautiful thing about blues, is that a lot of the guitar solos and a lot of the blues music would actually try to imitate the human voice. So you want to make it as melodic as you possibly can. And one of the ways you can train what your ear needs to be playing, or what your ear needs to listen for when you're playing, is to actually use uh, your voice to sing it, even if you don't have a good voice, but just to kind of create that melodic line so you know what you're trying to play. So there's this separation between the rhythm guitar part, or this droning, and then the melody. The other thing I wanted to point out is that you can play the bass either like I was playing it, or you can palm mute it. Like that. Another tip, you can cheat a little bit on the eighth rest that comes in at the beginning of each time the melody happens. So every time you have dee da da dee da, you can go instead of boom ba dee da bum ba, you can do. So you're you're really what you're doing is you're changing the eighth rest to a sixteenth rest, and you're coming in just a fraction of a beat ahead of time. So instead of this. You would have this. Can you hear the difference? Okay, here it is straight, exactly as written. And here it is, cheating that first eighth rest. So on and so forth. And um, that's basically all the tips that I have for that song that's pulled pork plate. And also, uh, one actually just came to my mind is that you can fool around with actually holding some of these notes a little longer than they're written. So instead of just like, instead of that, you would have. Here, I'm holding this note. 
is just a little bit difficult because what you're going to do is have to hold this note and still allow the E string to ring out. But it creates a very interesting sound because instead of the E, you actually have D against E, which is a, a major second. So you could kind of have that, that clash, but it sounds pretty cool. And did you see how I held the E? Just, I held it down with my first finger and then I went ahead and started the melody using my other fingers. Here I'm holding that. I'm just letting it ring right on through the melody. So those are just a couple of embellishments that you can use with your pulled pork plate from Acoustic Guitar Secrets. And uh, thanks so much. Take care, my friend, and I'll talk to you next time.